Manu has two. And it's Kondrani. Oh. And he's going to line it up for Fiku. Fiku! Nearing the sticks and now the penalty advantage as well for South Africa. De Klerk somehow weaves it through the line. Still with South Africa. Dale Linde! Dale Linde! Dale Linde! He is deadly! We've got our first try of the night. What about the looping pass through traffic and then the finish? How many tries have you seen in this World Cup? Shot and nothing. Delande has caused, big, caused bigger trouble all night. Superb from the inside centre. Hefu. Superb. Mallon for the support. Richard Harry over the 22. Can Australia finish it off this time? Timmy Horan will do. Timmy Horan with his 30th international try winning his 76th cap today and a key score. Yeah, Kapu has been man of the match for me and he makes this try, that's for sure. Powerful runner, breaks the line for the first time really. And now the Aussies are in the clear. No quitting them, got to go low, got to make your tackles, didn't. Tilly Horan, just the second invitation for those, does he? He's almost high again from Kapu. Sonny Bill Williams to Nonu now, and Nonu finds a way through, steps, oh Nonu, my God, score here! Mitchell with a tackle, Nonu! The All Blacks are on their way to a very special place in World Cup history. And a very special player scores their second try of the final. Absolutely sublime rugby from New Zealand, and that is just beautiful rugby. Got there by Cody, the drive one by Lohio again, this great bull of a man, what a world cup he's had. Now it's Ben Bézier, not sure where to go. Nicely out, Stella has a great chance, Stella's peaking through, what a brilliant try! And that's the French record, a magnificent try. It really came out of nothing. Lorient made the thrust first of all, what a tremendous charge it was, stopped by Cutler. And then Bethesia wasn't quite sure, but he gave it out to Menel, and then Sella suddenly veered inward and was gone. That was some score. Here it is again, that just notice how Sella now, he fades to go to the outside, cuts back inside, wrong foot to defence, and it just shows outstanding acceleration to score under the post. Oh no, coming back on the Wales side. Phillips can afford to have a look around. We'll go this way, says Priestland. Davis, strong! Jonathan Davis! That is a huge blow! Struck by Wales. What a moment in this young man's life, and what a moment for Wales. How did he get through that gap? There was nothing on. Reden can't get him, what a try, what a moment for Wales, could this be it, could this be their path to glory, all done by this man in the grey headgear. What a run that is from Pano. set up wonderful field position, Dupont, that didn't quite stick for Aldrich, but Girado is there, Dupont finds Ntamak, Vakatawa is going to take them on, and he's going to line it up for Fiku, Fiku! A lightning strike from France. Gael Ficou touches down. That's one of their very best. That's sensational from France. It's exactly what they can do to you. And then the two centres who are so dangerous. Fakatawa, one on one, stands Matera up, gets the ball to Fico. Such a balanced runner. That is sensational. Fashion. Walter Little and Mertens outside him. The long pass out to Mark Ellis. Logan with the tackle. Bunts, hands on to Mertens, inside Jardin, and this is Kronfeldt. It's the pace of the drives from New Zealand that keeps Scotland on the back foot. Mertens now brings in Bunts, and Frank Bunts is scything his way through, and Scotland's tackling. 
is found wanting and Frank Bunce scores for New Zealand his 14th try for the All Blacks. Dismal tackling there by Scotland really Frank Bunce shimmered himself through three or four tackles and uh, he won't find himself scoring many easier tries than this. All hands no one willing to commit themselves to the tackle really Scott Hastings and Gavin Hastings will be asking themselves the question of whose man that was. Okay, all on. Here goes Kirtley Beal. No, all on. Score now for Australia. I think that's very interesting indeed. The core goes sprawling all over the top. Again, here. Oh, there might be a bit of space in behind here. There is. And it's back into Australian hands. And it's Corandrani. Game on. Five weeks in a row. Australia have played here at Twickenham and they love it because they win here and they are still not out of contention in this final. Carter can't get across, Milner Scudder can't cover Ben Smith anymore and my goodness me, they are back in this game. Farrell, forward, good hands from Daly. Across the park they go to the man with rocket feet, finds Tuolangi! Manu has two! And it looked so simple. Terrific try from Manu Tuolangi, you're right. He just put the two in Tuolangi. But a great run from Johnny May. It didn't seem like there was a lot on for the English backs. Quick hands in the end to get it out to May. I think it was Farrell. He gassed the rest of the defence and the cover couldn't get across to stop Manu Tuolangi. Now what can Ireland do? Costello goes straight to the light man in Michelac. Stringer, Humphreys, the little kick in behind. No, can he get it down? That's dry, I think he's got it down. Try of Ireland, Brian O'Driscoll. Clever play by Humphreys. Good lead-up work by Costello. Ireland back, scoring their second try. Well, Humphrey saw the little gap, put it in behind. The only way you could reach the defence. And O'Driscoll just took his time. It looked like it was in slow motion. But one-handed just plucked it out of the air and waxed it down before the line. That is skill.